Approaching Terraformer. Arachnid nests are interfering with terminal performance. Destroy them. Shoot the nests! The glowing things, man! We gotta destroy them or we won't be able to power the terminal! A question I always forgot to look up. Hey, Ann, how long do eggs last after their sell by date? I do not understand your question, Herc. Please focus on your mission. Fine, whatever. She would have known the answer. Just saying. Terminal functionality minimal. Recharging in progress. Space bats! Terminal recharged. The terraformer can now be powered on. Punch it, man! See you at the party, crab face! That was awesome, man! Terraformer restored. Sensing a lot of sex appeal in the air and jealousy. One of my body parts must be nearby. That's what that means. your left foot. Thanks, man. I need that to boot scoop. Approaching Arachnid Research Center. Warning. 
The center has been overrun. I am detecting a large arachnid presence and many nests. Looks like these here space crabs are a little pissed off at all your experiments, Anne. Gotta be a queen here. Gotta take out them gross-ass nests, man. Let's get after it. Seismic activity detected. Uh-oh! Holy shit, man! There's three of them! Are you nuts? We can't fight three at the same time! Dude, this is so scary. Like, worse than having to zip your pants up when you're drunk. Evasive maneuvers, Migo! Come on, man! We gotta tag team them! Let's finish. 
finish this now, amigo? I'm hit, and I think I'm poo! Acquired. Engaging.
Arachnid Research Center restored. Man, this thing felt super good, like finishing first in the science fair. You finished first in the science fair? With what? You ever heard of a little something called invisible ink, motherfucker? Well, that's been done thousands of times. How'd you win with that? There was just two of us. The other guy didn't show. Look, man, first place is first place, okay? No matter which way you cut it. Shooter upgrade of doom, man! Woohoo! Speedo senses is tangling, man. That means we're definitely close to one of my body parts. What the fuck is this? Finger. Shit, man, thank you. I need that for classy occasions. In honor of Jesus Christ's 1,976th birthday, Clutch Nixon, a stuntman with a godlike ability to experience Christmas past, present, and future all at once, spread holiday cheer the only way he knew how, by getting blackout drunk on homemade Martian alcohol 
and traveling at dangerous speeds. Traditionally, he performed this stunt while driving home from a holiday party he was kicked out of for making off-color comments about the host. But Clutch didn't let the lack of a motor vehicle get in the way of having the aliens experience their first Christmas miracle. The stunt, called Spirits of Christmas, is attempted every year by thousands of drivers, but none have succeeded. in pain, but still!
Is that you? Shit! Kim's in trouble! It is just in your head, man. I'm coming, baby! No! No! Not this again! How many times do I gotta tell you to leave me and mine alone? Oh, shit! There's a machine teleporting Peggy's and it won't stop! This is fucked up! You have got to destroy it, man! You're having a goddamn nightmare, okay? You gotta end it! <clears throat> Peggy's are at the house! They're at the kill! Kim there? How's she looking? Shut up, Herc! Just a question, man. Jeez. Kim! Kim, stay inside! Ah, I've got these sons of bitches! I won't let them hurt you! from the hangar, you dipshits! Come oh, on, man! I just had the place painted, too! The plane's a hangar. I mean, it's a hangar. And some people like to take care of the things they're proud of her. That's cold, man. I mean, you know I have daddy issues. My daddy and granddaddy and great-granddaddy built this place! I'll fight you all till my last breath! You hear me? Oh, they're gone. The Peggy's. It's over. Go get your daughter, man. Baby girl? Another fuck. 
fucking cow! Oh, man, this is so weird! Antenna B1. Oh my goodness! Spacecraft really did a number on this one. Look at that. You know what bums me out most about Mars? I don't know. Earth's impending doom? The space crabs? No, none of those. Where are all them three titty women? You know, I've been looking around for weeks, Nicholas, and I ain't seen one yet, man. Total recall, more like total lie. Herc, you know I love you, buddy, but you ain't right. Antenna B1 restored. Energy core locations updated. Systems now operating at 75%. I am sensing an increase in stability, more functionality, and a spike in my capabilities. But I need more. You must give me more. The arachnids are one step ahead, readying their invasion. We are running out of time. Listen, I gotta say what's on my mind here. I'm just not seeing how any of this makes sense. And you don't need to. All you need to do is what I tell you to do. Man, uh, okay, Nick, she brings up a, a super good point there, okay? Anne's like a way more evolved bro -sif, okay? So she just knows things. So, so don't sweat it, and do me a favor, Nick. Stop fucking embarrassing me, okay? Autonomous robot navigation online. Robots are now free to roam the planet. They are programmed to defend you. Oh, fuck yeah, man! Nothing like a bit of backup! One of my bitches in here, man. It 
It's a foot. Your right one. Oh, perfect. The right foot? Good. That's my favorite foot. Thank you, man. Approaching mining station B1. Warning. The Queen Arachnid is in possession of an energy core. And we know just how to get it. Let's lure Big Mom out, amigo. Take out the egg nests, man. They look like red glowing branches. Shoot the eggs, man. Man, I skipped out on all the festivities and found myself on Gina Louise Trombley's couch watching reruns of Matlock. One thing led to another, and the result was me getting the itch, also known as cramps. <laughs> Seismic activity detected. Here she comes! She hit me with something. My gravity belt's jamming. Old Queen never stood a chance. Terminal room locked, disengaged. 
You may now enter. Mining station B1 restored. I bet you Kim misses you, huh? Yeah. I'd like to think my parents are missing me right now, but if I'm real honest with you and with myself, they probably don't even know I'm gone yet. It's like when I ran away from home at 30, man. Except this time, when I return, it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's gonna be real different. Cause I'm gonna have saved the planet, man. They're gonna have to love me then. My daddy, my mom, and all of them. We'll be like a big happy family, man. We'll get together on holidays and stuff, man. Like Christmas and Canadian Thanksgiving and for real Thanksgiving, man. Boy, I get all wound up just thinking about it. With the realization that there are no gas stations on Mars where he might procure dodgy supplements, Clutch Nixon, a stuntman as wise as he is brave, was down to his last vials of wolf testosterone and grizzly bear urine. He mixed the two potent ingredients and injected the concoction, known as a Montana speedball, directly into his heart. Instantaneously, he felt the rush of pure masculine energy. With a clenched jaw matching the biting force of 10,000 crocodiles, he leapt off the cliff and traveled at speeds that not even the god Mercury could match. To this day, the stunt called Premium Rush has never been repeated by any mortal or immortal man.
Another day.